Today, I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads advertiser verifications. So you may get a notification in your account to complete the advertiser verification. These are required, so any client I'm working with, I always tell them if I see the notification, I send it to them immediately and say, make sure you complete this, otherwise it will pause your campaigns. If you go over to the notifications, you'll generally see it in there. If you're not sure if you've completed it or not yet, go to billing over here, go directly to advertiser verification. I'll go there shortly. Uh, what I wanna do really quickly is just give a quick overview of what the advertiser advertiser verification actually is. So I went to the Google page, took the verification page that they have here, all this information, and just asked ask Claude, give me a quick summary of what this page is actually telling me. Basically, you need to provide your basic business and identity information, like they'll ask you for your personal license, business license, some different things like that, just making sure you are an active business. When they do give you the notification, generally you have 30 days to complete it. If you don't complete it within 30 days, a lot of times it will pause your campaigns, and you may have to do additional verification verification. So for certain sensitive areas, financial election, once you are verified, one of the main things that really happens from a Google ads perspective is you can actually put your name, your location on the advertisements. It makes your ads look better because you can do names, logos, and it just makes your ad look more like a business than some of the ads that you'll see where you can kind of tell ads that aren't verified yet. I do believe it is kind of an important factor when you are running your advertisements. So I generally just recommend verifying right away. It will put your advertiser information in the ads transparency center and then they have a few different things here about accounts may be paused immediately if Google suspects policy violations this is kind of goes that way whether it's verification or not and then it says verification is specifically required for from what I can tell every account that I'm working on eventually they will send make sure you send your verification so this was one that I was just using as a tutorial account I got the notification and I figured let's let the deadline pass and let's just do this on the video now there's not I can't show you everything so if I'm putting in my license and personal information I'm not going to actually show that portion in the video. And I'll also show you a couple example accounts of some things that you may see within your account. So when you click on fix it here, generally they're going to say, okay, let's answer a few questions about your organization. And they're generally going to ask you about a yeah complete up to three more verifications. So I've seen where they try to verify personal information, business information, and then actual business practices. So they're, they're looking for a lot of information about businesses. Basically it's Google's way to make sure that their advertisers are all transparent about who they are and what they are actually promoting, what business they are a part of. So it kind of makes it so you don't can't just create a Google ads account and just start running ads aimlessly. And eventually Google will ask you to verify your account. So let's start the task here. Okay, so they're saying, tell us about your organization. So technically I am an advertising agency, but for this particular account, I'm actually promoting it's for Surfside Inbound. It's I'm promoting different things. So this one's actually no. So it's gonna be who pays for ads. Yes, we pay for Google ads directly. You could see it's my account right here. This is my payments profile. And then what's my industry or industry. So it's gonna be advertising and marketing. And then we will go to save and continue. Okay, now it's saying complete the tasks to get verified, submit your document. So I'm gonna click on start task. And they're saying what all need for verification and ID to verify it's really you except the documents include driver's license, passport, state ID, or green card. So we'll scroll down and we'll click on start verification. And now this is where you want to complete your identity and go through this process. So I'm not going to complete this, this whole process on the video right now, but just make sure as you're going through the advertiser verification process, as you get more notifications saying complete this advertiser verification, just make sure that you complete that. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different examples on other accounts of what it looks like after you are completed with the advertiser verification. This video is brought to you by surfsidecourses.com. If you go to surfsidepc.com slash course, you can see all of the courses I have for sale. You can get my Google ads course for $34.99. I also have consulting available. So you can book me for one hour, two hours, or three hours of Google ads consulting, coaching, whatever you need. So in case you're interested in any of my premium offerings, surfsidepc.com slash course, and you'll be able to find all of them. Back to the video. Okay, so you can see here, this is an organization that is actually fully verified, but they have confirmed your organization's email, usually takes five minutes. You may need to complete up to three more verifications, but we have the completed tasks down here. You've answered a few questions about your organization, and then there's one more at the bottom here, but I just, I'm not able to show that to you. I will show you one more example of what you might see. Okay, I gotta block a lot on this one because it is showing some personal information, but we have the ad disclosure name, ad disclosure location, and over here on the right, you'll see about this advertiser name, and there's a little bit of information about the actual advertiser. But what you're looking for here is advertiser verification. You're verified, thanks for helping create a more transparent web. So once you complete everything, submit the documents that they ask you for, and just kind of go over what your business actually is, then you'll be able to serve ads without any issues whatsoever. And if you see the verification come up, just make sure you complete it. It's one of those things that if I have a client 
client who gets the notification, I tell them you have to go on, verify your account. So if it's not an account you own, generally it's much easier just to tell the client to do it and just check their email, complete the verification to make sure we can keep running ads. So. Okay, just to finalize my advertiser verification video, you can see I've completed all required tasks. They may ask me to complete more tasks in the future. If you're not sure if you've completed all of your advertiser verification tasks, you can always go to the billing advertiser verification and see. I've had a few accounts recently where we've had to complete additional verifications for the type of business that they're in, not even sensitive types of businesses. So always keep a lookout on advertiser verification notices because you don't want your ads just to turn off all of a sudden. And sometimes Sometimes you don't see them in the notifications right away. So once you get that email, it's it's best just to complete the advertiser verification as quickly as possible. And then once you do that, you're all good to run ads and you shouldn't have any issues. You could also put your name in the actual advertisement. Now, I'm not going to put my actual name, um, but if I did complete my business documents for Surfside PPC, I could actually put Surfside PPC as the advertiser on the ad. So that will complete my advertiser verification video. Just kind of three pretty easy videos to get started with, uh, you know, Google ads and some of the first things that you need to do. I'm not going to show billing setup just because it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward, but from here I'm going to go into more strategy and more things, you know, how to improve your actual Google ads performance. So thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.